Hello everybody, this is Bumpy Gaming back once again, and to celebrate the 30th anniversary of one of my favorite video game characters, that being Sonic the Hedgehog, I decided to go over every single game that I have in the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. Kind of like what I did for the Mario game collection a couple months ago, for Mario Day. Now, these are all going to be, well, for the most part, these are all going to be on Nintendo consoles. I say for the most part, because of reasons that are coming up. Like, I notice, like, like some of these are multi-platform, but I find they run best on Nintendo consoles, so that's why I have, I mean, unless I can't get them on a Nintendo console, in which case, you know, but, but that, but that is besides the point. Let, let's get into this. Okay, so on the GameCube, we got Shadow the Hedgehog, Sonic Adventure DX, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, Sonic Gems Collection, Sonic Heroes, Sonic Mega Collection, and Sonic Riders. So bring these over here. Uh, now, here's what we got on the Wii. Mario and Sonic at the Olympics, the very first Sonic game I ever owned. Mario and Sonic the Olympic Winter Games. Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games. Sega Superstars Tennis. And, and this one's going to be a weird inclusion, but the Simpsons game? I don't remember if I included this in the Mario games video or not, but, you know, Sonic has a pretty... It's, a, it's got a fairly sizable cameo in the game, so I count it. And Mario as well, so... Okay, so Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. Sonic and the Secret Rings. Sonic and the Black Knight. Sonic Colors. Sonic Riders Zero Gravity. Sonic Unleashed, and Super Smash Bros. Brawl, which Sonic was a guest character in. Now we got, on the Wii U, LEGO Dimensions, which had Sonic as a guest character as well. Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed. Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. Sonic Lost World, and another game where Sonic is a guest, Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. Yeah, already this seems very small compared to the Mario games I have. But wait till you see what I got on PS3. Cause, cause, because the three I'm about to show off are three out of four of the games I own on PlayStation 3. Those three, and these three are Sonic games, so... Sonic Generations, Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection, and... Get out of my face. Alright, so... Handhelds. Well, first we got a Soul GBA game. It's not even a game. It's Game Boy Advance video. Sonic X, a Super Sonic Hero. And as a kid, I also did own Sonic the Hedgehog Genesis. I'm actually not sure if it's there anymore. But I have I play most GBA games on emulators anyway, so because I can actually rewind them. So I don't know if I'm going to keep the carts any longer. Uh, anyways, um, for DS, I have Sonic Classic Collection, Sonic Colors. Which is really Sonic Rush 3. Speaking of which, Sonic Rush 1. And Sonic Rush Adventure. And then for 3DS. Alright, for, for, for 3DS I got Mario and Sonic of the London 2012 Olympic Games. Sonic Boom Fire and Ice. Sonic Boom Shattered Crystal. Sonic Generations. And Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS, which Sonic was a guest character in. And then finally, on Nintendo Switch, Mario and Sonic at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. That certainly aged well. Uh, Sonic Forces. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which had Sonic as a guest. And Team Sonic Racing. And then on my Switch, I have the digital version of Sonic Mania. So yeah, those are all the Sonic games I have. Which one is my absolute favorite? Well, it's in some of these compilations here, but, I, but I'll say it anyway. Uh, Sonic, Sonic 2 is probably my favorite of the franchise, if I'm being honest. So yeah, that's going to just about do it for my Sonic game collection. This is Bumpy Gaming going back under the bed, and until next time. Also, my next upload will be part 3 of the Nicktoons Unite Let's Play. So I'm happy that's finally going up. So... Take care, everybody.